Hi everyone, this is Mr. Carl. I hope you enjoy my lessons. All of my music lessons will always be free. I only ask that if they help you and they are a blessing to you, freely you receive, freely you give, and you be a blessing to someone else. If you need to find the printed music to go with my lessons, just go to my website, carlherod.com, click on my name, Carl, and then click on Music Instruction. Scroll down and you'll see printable music for videos, and then that will be my music for you to print out and to go along with the video lessons online. And I hope you enjoy them, and I'm going to be printing and doing more and more all the time, so stay tuned. God bless. Okay, we're ready for number three. You ready? All right, let's do it. Number three. Now, let's look at just the bass drum part. It's, you come in on beat one, then rest, then you come in on beat three and four. Then you start over, so it sounds like this. One, three, four. One, three, four. Again, one, three, four. So you have to rest on beat two. Good, now let's add the symbol. One, three, four, one, rest. Three, four. Now let's, now, let's look at how you do the symbol. Now, the, the symbol comes in on during what part? That's right, the symbol comes in on the rest on beat two, like this. Let's just do the bass drum and the snare drum. Bass drum, then the snare drum by itself, then the bass drum by itself. Ah, then what happens on the fourth beat? Well, the bass drum and the snare drum play together. So it sounds like this. Bass drum, snare drum, bass drum, and then both guys. So it sounds like this. Together, bass drum, snare drum, Bass drum together. Say it, say it with me, class. Bass drum, snare drum. Bass drum together. Bass drum, snare drum. Bass drum together. Good for you. You got it. Let's try it again. Bass drum, snare drum. Bass drum together. Bass drum, snare drum. Bass drum together. Now you keep practicing that. Don't even try to add the symbol. You keep practicing that until you ha have it down and you don't have to think about it anymore. No brain overload. <coughs> Together. See how that works? Sure you do. Okay, you practiced it. You can kind of do it the way I'm doing it. Let's add the cymbal. Okay? Let's start out with the bass drum. Let's start out with the cymbal. Now the bass drum. Rest. Three, four, one. Rest. Now let's do this. Let's just add the snare drum first on beat two. Don't worry about the beat four yet. Let's just add the snare drum by itself on beat two, like this. Ready? Snare drum. Snare drum. Snare drum. Snare drum. Now when you can do that, then add the snare drum on beat four with the bass drum. So here we go. First snare drum on beat two. Add it on beat four. You think you got it? Now try all, every different combination you want to. It doesn't matter. You could start out with just bass drum and snare drum. You could start out with just snare drum and cymbal. And then add the bass drum. Whatever works for you. And if you're having trouble, I would try every combination I could until something in your brain goes, I got it, I got it. 
Because that's usually the way it works. You try one combination, the brain goes, uh-uh, don't want to do it. Mm-mm, no, not going to do it. Then you try it a different way. No. Then you try it a different way. Maybe. Then you try that fourth way. Oh, I think I got it. So try it different ways. One more time. Ready? And you should be able to get it up to eventually this. Isn't that cool? And it's not that hard. All right. Well, you practice number three and all the different combinations, and I've ch- and I've showed you some different ways to do it. So you work, work, work. You will practice it, and you will like it. All right. Number four. Let's look at it. Now, number four, we have the bass drum on beats one and on beats four, like this. Bass drum, one, rest, rest. Four, one, rest, rest. Four, one, rest, rest. Four, one, rest, rest. Good. Let's try it with the cymbal. Ready? One, rest, rest. Four, one, rest, rest. Rest, rest. Four, one, rest, rest. Very good. Okay. Now let's add the snare drum just on beat two. Okay, here we go. One, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, one, two. Now keep doing that until it feels good. Then, what happens on the, with the snare drum on beat four? Who gets to play what, when, and where, and how? And I don't know. Oh, the bass drum and the snare drum are together on beat four. So let's just look at the bass drum and snare drum together. Here we go. Bass drum, then snare drum, then rest, and then together. So it's like this. Bass drum, snare drum, rest, together. Bass drum, snare drum, rest, together. Say it with me, class. Bass drum, snare drum, rest, together. Bass drum, snare drum, rest, together. You, you stink, you got it? You stink. Ooh, that sounds complicated, doesn't it? Ooh. Okay, let's try a different combination with the snare drum until we see if we can find one that clicks. Until it clicks. Here's, here's the cymbal. Just the bass drum. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Good. Rest, rest. That's good. Now let's try it with the snare drum on two. Ready? Rest. Now let's add the snare drum and bass on beat four together. Together. Ready? Okay. Let's try it a different way. If you're having trouble that way, let's try it this way. Let's just do it with the bass drum and snare drum again. And then add the cymbal. Okay, let's just try it with the, how about the uh, snare drum first? Rest. Come in with a cymbal. One, two, now bass drum. Four. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, four. Good. And we tried it all different combinations. Eventually it should it should have sounded like a these. Once you can do that comfortably, you are ready to move on to a cinco.
You ready for number five? Let's look at it. Number five. Uh-oh, number five. Cool. We get to do basically the same thing as one, two, three, and four, except we're adding the we're adding the hi hat with the snare drum. Yeah. It's going to feel a little funny though, so it may take a little more practice. Number five. Number five is exactly like number one. You have your bass drum and snare drum on one, one, two, three, and four. Bass drums on one and three. Snare drums on two and four, just like number one. Except now we're adding the hi hat with the snare drum, so it should sound like this: bass drum together, bass drum together. Okay, like that. I know that feels funny, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. And whatever you do, do not neglect that left foot. Because if you get in the habit of not playing it now, guess what? It only gets harder. Okay, let's try it again. Bass drum, snare drum, hi hat. Good. You're doing great. Bass drum. Now, let's add the cymbal. You ready? All right. Now, I know I'll stop in midstream, but there's going to be a, there's going to come a point when you're actually going to play the cymbal and the hi hat and the snare drum all three at the same time, and that's you're going to think you're doing something wrong, but you're not. You are doing it correctly, so it should you're going to feel this this feel where you do all three at the same time, these three. So that's right. So let's do it real slow. Bass drum and snare and cymbal. Then snare drum and cymbal, so it's, and these are together, and then you've got this, together, so those three are together, together, bass drum, all three together, bass drum, all three together, and when I say all three, I'm referring to cymbals and snare drum, together, 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 just bass drum, together, and eventually it'll sound like this. Carried away. So, okay. Now let's approach this one from a different angle. Okay. We could just start with snare drum and hi hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then add the cymbal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and then add the bass drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or we could do uh, just the snare drum and the cymbal, then add the bass drum, and then add the hi hat last. Again, I know I sound like a broken record. You do it any way you like. Keep trying different combinations until you get it going and then keep it going until you can do it 10 or 20 times without having to think about it.